I'm going to attempt to spend the next seven days in solitary confinement. Seal me up. Bye, Jimmy. Hopefully I don't go insane. For the next seven days, I have to survive in this soundproof white room with zero human contact and zero stimulation. And because this is actually psychologically dangerous, the most important thing is the doctor outside making sure I don't go insane. I worked in psych hospitals for 23 years, and uh, this is much worse than anything I've ever seen. Anything past 50 hours in a white room like this can lead to permanent psychological damage. And I'm about to do 168 hours. There is a chance that I actually start to lose my mind and go into something called psychosis. <laughs> And they have to pull me out because it can cause permanent damage to me. He survived seven days buried alive. Yeah. Is this much harder? Much harder. He doesn't have social contact. If your brain doesn't have information coming in, it generates craziness, it generates hallucinations, it generates paranoia. And all I have to survive for the next week is a bed to sleep on, a notebook with a pen, a refillable bottle of water, toothbrush with toothpaste, and a bar of soap, a toilet to use the bathroom, and a sink for water. At this point, it was clear to me it was going to be difficult to entertain myself during this challenge, especially on hour nine when I did this. You're probably wondering, how many tiles are on these walls? The correct answer is 1900. And if you want the roof and floor included, then it's 2,860. But more importantly than all of that, according to my stomach, it is time to eat food. If you're wondering how I'm eating during this challenge, there's a conveyor belt here, which spans over 100 feet, so I can be fed without any human interaction. I think I've been in here around 14 hours. Isn't it crazy that at this point, I was already off by two hours? And uh, so far, the hardest part of the challenge is no one's fed me yet. In hindsight, I should have ate more food before I came in here. But yeah, it would be really nice if someone fed me sometime soon. Your boy is very hungry. <laughs> did you wash your hands? Yeah, of course I did. No, he did not. We'll be sending him his meals randomly so he can't guess the time. Like it's 6 p.m. right now and we're sending him his breakfast. When are my friends gonna feed me? I am hungry, I am hungry. Now because the room is soundproof, even though the food arrived, I didn't realize it until I checked two hours later. Too hungry to walk. That's a little dramatic, man, come on. So when I finally checked, oh, I was not actually expecting food. This tastes awesome. I mean, it's cold and soggy, but I'm just so deprived of feeling things. This is, this is great. <sighs> this solitary confinement set, is literally wrapped in metal chains. If this set caught on fire, I would probably burn alive before they could unlock it. Anyways, I'm gonna think about other things than that. <laughs> For the next few hours, I tried to keep myself as stimulated as humanly possible. Oh, that's kinda cool. He's got nothing, he has nothing to work with. If he's already resulting to this for basic stimulation, I have my doubts that he'll last seven days. It's interesting how when you take everything away from a man, something as simple as a metal plate can be like as fun as an iPhone. He's gonna get agitated by way of boredom. This is a very dehumanizing experience. I'm just gonna go to bed and we'll see what happens. I think I'm around 40 hours into the challenge. Jimmy's six hours off on what time he thinks it is. Which means it's around 4 p.m. on day number two. I thought he'd be on track today. Losing my sense of time led to other problems. No matter what I do, I literally just can't sleep. These lights are just really messing with my brain. Maybe I just lay here for the next five days. The reason he has insomnia is he doesn't need to sleep. He wants to sleep this off and just get it over with, but what he should be doing is trying to do something that is gonna occupy his attention while he's awake. He's climbing the wall. It's the natural human urge for freedom. He's regressing to primal instinct. Why did I think it was 4 p.m.? Shouldn't that mean it's 9 p.m.? And by the time I had gone around eating my first meal, it was 4.30 in the afternoon. Don't get me wrong, the food looks good, but it is freezing cold. Ooh. I'd rather starve than eat the rest of this, so. And when my second meal had arrived, it felt like only minutes had passed. What just came through the conveyor belt? Wait, how long has it been? Am I supposed to eat both or? It definitely was day two when I got the second breakfast, but I didn't eat much of the breakfast. So maybe they felt bad because I didn't eat much of the breakfast. Well, no. At this point, I had no idea how long that first meal was sitting in the conveyor belt for. You see he's getting a little paranoid. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that can get worse as time goes on. It's only day two. I'm not sure what to do. I think I'm gonna just see how high I can count. One, two, three, four. It looks five, crazy, six, right? Five, six, five, five, six, six, five, six, seven. But when you're in a situation where there's nothing to do, 999. What's crazy is to just succumb to it. 1,000. 
as this progresses, he's going to run out of random things to do. And I got to give it to him. The doctor was right. Because later in this challenge, I borderline go insane. Do you think I'd get a... Do you think I'd... <laughs> And while my strategy to sleep through most of the challenge did help pass the time, it ended up hurting me in other ways. I see food over there. It's freaking soggy and cold. How long has this been sitting here? This food's been sitting there for seven hours. Ugh. I would have given anything to eat that ice cream. Ugh. It would have been nice to have edible parts of the meal, but I guess I'll just be hungry again. Normally, because we're working on so many videos at once, I'm usually like incredibly stressed. As of right now, I don't really feel that stressed at all, but I feel a ton of anxiety because I have this severe FOMO that I'm missing tons of cool stuff going on in the world. It's weird. It's a different emotion than I'm used to. It's pretty crazy how hard it is to do nothing. I'm starting to get really bored. Oh, this is getting very hard on me mentally. I'm bored. Help. I was nowhere near the 168 hour mark. So by hour 65, I started to wonder. How do you do a handstand? Ow. I wish before I came in here, I had someone teach me the basics of how to do a handstand. He's gonna have to invent concepts that only exist in his mind to keep himself from experiencing intense depression. I'm just gonna envision that I'm currently walking in a park. There's green grass, someone's fishing. He's literally making up scenarios <laughs> in his head right now. Oh my God. All in all, it's very sunny. I hear birds. You ruined my walk in the park. <laughs> oh my God. We're watching him slip into madness. Ooh. They gave me more food. But it looks like we got some rice, sweet potato, and steak. This is the best meal I've gotten so far at this challenge. If you look right here, you'll see some rice. And any ordinary human would probably eat this rice. But I'm gonna count it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 7, 98, 99, 100, 104, 255, 266, 257, 307, 308, 309, 310. 20, 421, 422, 423, 445, 446, 447. There are 447 grains of rice on this metal tray. This information probably profoundly changed you as a human. I'm feeling pretty tired, which means it's probably the night of the fifth. I wasn't even halfway through the challenge and was already off a full day. I'm gonna get some more disease in the bathroom where it's not so freaking bright. Which proved to be my smartest move yet because I actually slept in that bathroom for 12 hours. We're officially halfway into the challenge, well, 84 hours. Jimmy is. And we're gonna tell him that in his next meal. Just to oh. kinda mix it all up for him. I mean, you can still put the letters together. I am hungry, hungry I am. What are we working with here? What is this? Bro's never heard of SpaghettiOs? And that wasn't the only thing I was forgetting the name of. What is this called? This is a... A roll. This is a lot of sauce for one roll. It kind of tastes like ketchup. How does he not notice the letters in there? Oh! That's an N. Yeah! yeah! You guys forgot to take these four SpaghettiOs out. No! Every time he finds a letter, he just keeps eating it. I hope those weren't supposed to spell something. I was magically supposed to realize that before I ate them and then put it together to figure out a word for more food. Surely that's not what they wanted from me. Jimmy's about to watch this when he gets out and feels so <laughs> dumb. Depression. At this point, the bright lights were starting to get to me. I have a ginormous headache right now and I am so hungry. What is going on to my body? Well, he did ask for more food, even though he is getting all the calories he needs. But the reason for that is that he's so understimulated, he thinks he's starving. I ended up checking for food over and over and over again. This is oddly soothing. Do you think I'd get a concussion from doing this? You should probably stop. You're right, I should probably stop. There's a bag of McDonald's here. It's suspiciously light. If there is not McDonald's in this bag, I'm going to be depressed. There actually is. Let's go. 
Every time I get a meal, it's like 20 minutes of just pure happiness. I feel human again. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I'm so happy. And then the second I finish it, I feel a wave of depression because I'm like, what do I do now? <laughs> The seconds are starting to blend together so much. I would try to guess what time it is, but I have no earthly idea. My mind is slowly deforming into stupidity. I need to occupy myself better. We're gonna grab this McDonald's cheeseburger wrapper, as well as this cup that was holding my toothbrush. And now we have basketball. LeBron, Steph, Kobe. Maybe basketball is not my thing. I think I was always better at baseball. Strike! That was not what was supposed to happen. And then I remembered, look what I, oh, there's a fork on it. That I had an indestructible plate from my very first meal. I am going to throw this so far, it is hilarious. <laughs> I'm bored. I still have two days left inside this room, and I have a feeling at some point, I'm gonna wanna leave. It's and day four. No matter how much I beg, or scream, or plead, <laughs> Or burp. Do not let me out of this room early. Okay, Jimmy, I got you. My instincts tell me I've so far done 113 hours, which means I have 55 hours remaining. And whoever's editing this, show them how many hours I actually have remaining. Hopefully, it's somewhere close to 55 hours. I think he's gonna get angry and possibly paranoid about what's going on. Is a man not allowed to have privacy? There's a camera there, there's a camera above that, there's a camera, 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 camera. There's so many cameras on me 24 seven. I'm going to go insane! What if we throw the camera through the convention? Genius. I treat it like bowling. Ah, somehow I hit my finger, ow. I severely underestimated how hard this video would be. Just thinking about it has me like tearing up, but I kind of feel like an animal right now. Like I feel like I lost all my rights as a human. If I had to guess, I would say I'm halfway through day five. I really miss my girlfriend and I miss the gang as well. Even Nolan. <laughs> Even Nolan. Mentally right now, I'd say I'm at like literal rock bottom. Like this is very inhumane. I've been in here so long that some of my dreams are about me in this room. And I think it's like day six or seven, but then I wake up and realize it was a dream. What time is it? I would pay so much money to know what freaking time it is. Let's go over why I think there are 33 hours left in this challenge. Um, I've slept five times. Ah! Reason number two, I usually poop once a day, and I've also pooped five times since I got in here. Reason number three, I've grown a lot of hair on my neck here, and this usually does take like a week. If for some reason it's still... If for some reason it's still day five, or God forbid it's somehow still day four, I will lose my mind. While I was sleeping, I had a dream about the one time that I counted to 100,000, and so when I woke up, I decided to do a thousand laps around this room. You know, for old times sake. That'll be the marker. One. Watching two, back this footage, three, it's literally four, crazy. I resorted to walking in circles to keep myself sane. A thousand is way too many. I'm already starting to get dizzy. This entire challenge, I've been getting water out of this sink. And I'm gonna be honest, this, uh, this in, it, I'm not, bro. Circle is a flavor cartridge you can screw on your water bottle and makes bland water taste amazing. There's over a hundred different flavors that fit this bottle that are all zero calories and zero sugar. <sighs> Moving this tripod is miserable. <clears throat> Choose how intense you want the flavor <laughs> and then start drinking away. It honestly adds so much flavor, I can't even tell it's sink water. I've been drinking fruit punch throughout this entire challenge and it actually makes the water taste amazing. Um, I'm gonna walk back and forth between these walls. These cartridges also last for multiple refills of your water bottle, which is good because the boys suck at sending these and sometimes I gotta use the same one for a whole day. If you wanna start drinking more water or just want your water to start tasting good in general, go to drinkcircle.com or your local Walmart to give it a try. I've tried everything to keep myself entertained and I'm gonna be honest, it's not working. And after I finished all my circles, Carl brought back two people from 100 Days Trapped Together. We're here. Hey, check it out. You guys are gonna love this. That's the face of the guy that trapped you guys for 100 days. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say this is easier or harder than what you guys did? In comparison, I think I'd rather have like 
someone else in it with me. And now that the tables had turned and I was the one inside the white cube, Bailey and Susie got their revenge. So I'll show you guys how the conveyor belt works. They sent an empty tray. He's about to freak out. I don't feel bad at all. This is what he gets. I bet every dollar in my bank account. Carl just showed up. No way! You hungry, Jimmy? Eat this. No, we're not doing this again. We are not doing this. We're not doing this. This is the most simulation he's had in days. Well, you gotta give him credit. I probably deserve that. Imagine this is what happens after you die. You just go to a white room like this forever. That would be miserable. When I sleep, I dream of me in the outside world. And when I'm awake, I'm just depressed, lonely, and to be honest, miserable. So the more time I spend sleeping, <laughs> the happier I am. <laughs> Let me out. I'm better. I feel dead. I really need to get out of here. We did seven days on a raft. I did seven days buried alive. And now seven days in solitary confinement. If I had known how hard this would be, I never would have done this. If that hour number in the top left says anything higher than 20, I'm gonna lose my mind. I am feeling extremely lonely. I, I miss my girlfriend. This is torture. Is he crying? He's not doing well. He's just like napping on the floor, throwing things, having tantrums, getting happy when he gets snacks. He's like a child. I think there's eight hours left and then they're gonna open that door right there and I am free. I hope, I pray, please be eight hours. He thinks he's sleeping through the last couple hours right now. That's what he thinks this is. So it's gonna be a rude awakening, yeah. literally. To be honest, it's concerning. I give it maybe another two to three hours and that door opens. So I'm gonna enjoy my last meal and then we're getting out of here. Did he just say it's his last meal? I think so. Well, that's ironic because it's literally exactly 24 hours. Any hour now, they're gonna be walking through that door. So I'm gonna clean up the place. It's a little messy, you know. I was trying to make up an excuse to clean, but in reality, I'm just bored. I thought coming into this experiment, I would get more mental clarity. Maybe learn a little bit about myself. But in reality, all I'm walking away with is the newfound skill of being able to throw things out a conveyor belt door. Or maybe not. There is just no world where there's more than 24 hours left. I can't do another 24 hours in here. I'm at my limit, but it doesn't even matter. There's just not 24 hours left. I just don't, I, I refuse to believe that. So any second now, any second now, any second now. To pass the time, I'm gonna resume counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 5,425. I swear to God, I heard something out there. I'm sad. I'm sad. I am sad. I am sad. I don't want to be here. Get me out of this room. I don't want to be here. This is barely human. He's lying in bed, covering his eyes, no excitement. This is totally not what you want to see. How is he going to act? Is he going to be a new human? I'm worried he's going to be this human. He's just collapsed into dysfunction. We've never pushed him as far as he has pushed in this video. Well, because he's been totally deprived of any human contact. Be gentle. Like a little kid waking up from a nap. Well, there's 10 minutes left, so let's go get ready. Thank you. Good luck. I'm gonna die. Hold on. Wait, I don't even have pants on. Oh my gosh. Hey, Jimmy. Sorry, I was just putting my pants on. 
It's not as bright out here. How is it, dude? I'm actually kind of lightheaded. You know what's crazy, but after this challenge, I kind of forgot how to interact with humans. Where are you going? Okay. It's actually relieving to not stare at a bright light. It's like the ceiling is awesome. This is the happiest I've seen you in a long time. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was perpetually just gonna be 24 hours forever. Follow me outside. I wanna see the sun. Oh my God. Oh, it's dark out. So nice to see the outside world. Uh -huh.